Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. But who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another Fun Field episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, board certified criminal defense lawyer, coming to you with my pearl handle pistol cufflinks and are given to me so graciously by our content genius, Michael Rivers, who's sitting behind the camera looking handsome as hell, and he is just the most awesome son a guy could have. And just so you know, our content genius, Michael Rivers, he shoots it, he edits it, he uh, creates it, um, we collaborate on the content. And basically, he's my boss. So uh, so when you see me out here, it's all a result of the content genius, Michael Rivers. Um, so hats off to him. So today, we're reacting to a councilman arrested after allegedly smoking crack and passing out in his car after court. When you're in your car and you're near the courthouse, probably not a good idea to do some crack. Just probably not. But before we get to this video, which I'm kind of excited to do, because I haven't seen it and Michael thinks it's cool, so it's gotta be. This is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com, a very effective way to remotely do business. So let's say that you're a councilman and um, you're smoking crack in your car and all of a sudden you get fucking busted. Then guess what happens? Um, you need uh, to do a couple things. One, you need a bond because you're going to get arrested. And you also need a power of attorney probably so somebody can do some work on your behalf. You might even need to send something into uh, into the council to either resign or whatever. And you can do it remotely. You can do it with the eSign.com. You download the app. You get three free signatures a month. And all of a sudden, guess what? You don't have to go anywhere. You can just sit and do crack in your basement. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> here's the thing. It is... Uh, something that I use all the time to remotely do, you know, send retainer agreements out. You can use it for just about anything, you know, rental agreement or any any kind of document that needs a signature, e sign it. Because if it's not e sign, no one signs. So let's get right to this because, and you know, and here's the thing: it's not really funny to to joke around about somebody who has a crack problem, but seeing a white city councilman who typically have arrogance going out their ears, there's some po poetry about that. Literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Oh, and you have a crack? I have sleep apnea. Sorry. Especially when I do crack. A city councilman in Cranston, Rhode Island, faces a drug charge after a police officer finds him sleeping in his car with a crack pipe in his hand. So when you, so that's two crimes. Number one, if it's got some residue on it, it's possession of a controlled substance. Number two, it's possession of drug paraphernalia. Now, here's the thing. I, I drink. I drink alcohol from time to time. Not in excess, but, you know, and, and I can understand it. What I really don't understand are drugs. Drugs are very difficult for me to understand because I want, it takes my money, takes my freedom, and takes my health, but I, I have to have more of it. And sometimes it just gets a hold of some people and doesn't let go. I see this every day. And if it weren't for drugs and alcohol and bad decisions, I wouldn't have a job. You can see Riley sleeping. Okay. He looks like he's got some sleep apnea going on, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, you know, and you, your, your heart breaks for some people like that because what a – at least he's got a seatbelt on. Let's, let's just give him that. His mouth wide open as the officer approaches. Riley has a lighter and a pipe in his hand. <laughs> he look at, he's got the, the crack pipe in his hand. You know, if you're going to be that guy, try to be a little more clever about it instead of just nodding off and passing out in your car after doing some crack. The officer rouses him from his sleep. Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. Oh, looks like that's not a good position for a congressman, uh, a councilman to be in. Okay. Yeah. Right. Roads open in Boston. Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes. Oh, no way, dude. Really? He just found out he was like a city councilman. I was just taking. I was just on my way back from court. I was just on my way back from court. I'm just fucked up. I'm a little bit. And he's his his 
heart has just got to be pounding out of his chest right now. Well, a wrestler's going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down. About sleep apnea. I just have sleep apnea. I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Well, yeah. Whenever I hold a crack pipe, I get sleep apnea. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I was doing crack in your parking lot. I'll go do a crack by a park with some kids, okay? I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I... I can't unsee it. You know, so a rescue's going to come here. Oh, they're they're going to check you out. You know, you, you, as far as I know, there's no drugs anywhere, so I no. can't... Well, there's probably there's residue on the crack pipe, and and that residue is possession of a controlled substance. Oh, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more health or well-being. Yeah, just want to make sure that you know your crack level is just enough so you can enjoy it, but not too much so you don't know what you're doing. Thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it. You know, you can have that back. Thank you. Still, will, will be no arrest. What? Still, will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any? Boy, I think he, he just his bowels just dropped because oh good, I'm not getting arrested. Are there any drugs in the car or anything like that? No, no, nothing. No, I did them all. No, they're they're inside me now. <laughs> The officer questions Riley about his drug use. He's forthcoming and discusses struggling with addiction. And here's the thing. Do we want somebody to get help or put them in jail? Somebody like this. Probably get him help, right? I mean, he's a hapless drug addict who is wearing a tie and works for the city. <laughs> How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it, was a, it was a relapse. I've been clean for 13 years. All right. And a lot of times, anything can... can trigger a relapse, you know, like a st stress, you know, like an end of a relationship or being encountered by law enforcement while you have a crack pipe in your in your car. I mean, I just went through a really, really bad divorce recently. Okay. Notice he's not searching his car right away and putting him in handcuffs and putting him in the back of his squad. Guess what? If he was black, I guarantee you that's where the fuck he'd be. Um, uh, so you don't this is what we call, you know, and I, I don't really like using this word, but this is exactly what this is. This is white privilege right here, for sure. If any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything, because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Um, but in my sleep apnea does that to me, especially when I do crack. I, someone literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because I thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, I, no, not that I know of. EMTs arrive to check out Riley as the police officers search his vehicle. And all these EMTs are going to do is check his vitals, and that's it. That's, what else are they going to do? Which is littered with trash and junk. The officer found a chore boy scouring pad in the glove box. Chore boy is made of copper and metal. Drug users sometimes use a chore boy to make a crack pipe. You got a test kit? Yeah. So, um, it's over here. A second officer arrives. They approach the vehicle to test suspected drugs found in the car. What's wrong with this guy? It's your whole life. Mm hmm Down the drain for what? You see, you don't know. That's exactly right. You know, your whole life down the drain for what? You know, people who do drugs and do hard drugs like crack or whatever – they don't think rationally. You think like, you think they would. You know, you think, oh, I'm going to weigh this choice against that choice. It's a slippery slope, and and they cut corners and do this and do that, and pretty f far down the road, they're risking everything for that high, for that little bit of a high. And this is what happened here. Doesn't know. I've never met him in my life. I could probably dig out just a smaller little rock so we don't have to break anything. Uh, if we can get a little bit with the uh, the powder. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll touch it. No, I don't have any drugs in my car. Nope. No, nothing to see here. Just a little sleep apnea. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. So this is a Nick test. It's a feel. It's not necessarily super reliable, but it tells you right away um, what they're looking for. 
be careful because he was on the nod. Where like it yeah, seems like sure anyways, it's mixed with something else, bro. Do you need this knife? And here's the thing. When you're doing these kinds of drugs, and if it's and if it's laced with fentanyl, fentanyl and heroin have the same kind of uh, suppression effect, where you know you have this natural tendency to breathe, and you know you, you nod off like that, then all of a sudden you just stop breathing, and that's how you die. You just stop breathing, and it's a peaceful death, really, because you're not struggling. But you just your your natural, you know, like if you're sleeping and you stop breathing for a second, it, you don't get any of that when you do these kinds of drugs. So in other words, it's a respiratory depressant. Yeah, we use up. Be careful with that stuff. Is I don't know if that's fentanyl waste or not. There's weight all over it. He doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, I was just telling him the same thing because. I mean so what, he, what he's talking about there is be careful with it because you know it can if you're not careful with it, we've seen where videos where the cops are touching it and it gets into their system through their skin so it, it's really a dangerous dangerous thing completely you know it's not an open yeah, yeah. Like this, but, uh, he claims he was tired and he, and he may have sleep apnea but i don't think that's gonna fly. especially like this yeah yeah only kind a lot too it's like you stick out like a sore thumb <laughs> that's the other thing when you were the i mean Let's say it's after midnight and you're shit faced drunk. Guess what? Take an Uber. Don't be the only one on the fucking road. It's just like this. I mean, you're a target. Come on, right away. Fentanyl? Uh, coke. Yeah. Crack. Pop for crack. I can test it for fentanyl. Test, test it for both, just to make right. sure that I don't know what the other one Wait, Can you just snap a picture of that? Especially yeah. when you're putting in a cell. The sergeant on scene tells the officers to charge Riley. Then they look at a white powder on his driver's seat. I want to have his mother come get the car, but I'm not going to, I wouldn't have no, I'm not getting in there touching all that, all that white powder, is that, that's a piece that of crack, yeah, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely crack, yeah, yeah most likely, yeah, you can smell it, and he's burning up. The other thing, when you're far down the road on addiction like this, a lot of things go away, like your personal hygiene, your, you know, I bet his place where he lives is just a shithole. And you just let a lot of things go. You let everything go. And this guy, risk, risk, I mean, he has a good job, and he's, but for whatever reason, he's decided to go down this path. He has a bunch of toy boy. And Should we have a toy? It looks no, like he's like half a, living out of his car. That's like private toilet property. Trees. We're good. We're on private property. And this guy, yeah, look at this. There's no problem. I'll do all the uh, evidence stuff for you. Thank you. All right, so um, is he rescue's good with him? Yeah, they're just finishing up right now. Okay. So this is the end user, right? So we have a lot of this shit coming over the border, a lot of meth uh, coming over the border, and a lot of fentanyl coming over the border from Mexico. And this is this is where it's going. The brillo and everything over there. Yep. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's all they're uh, finishing up right now. But that was in his uh, glove compartment. The first officer on scene also removed a crack pipe from Riley's vehicle. Riley appears to be okay after leaving EMTs and talking to the officer. Yeah, I know. It's not like that. Uh, oh. Have an option here, man. Sorry. No. Guess they are going to arrest him after all. I'm going to need another one. I'm going to need another one. Oh, well. All right, go. All right, they stop all over that car. Your mother gets in that car for a bit, she sits in that, touches her face, her mouth, and goes down. I have no idea. Well, it's all over. No, no, I mean that. Yeah, you don't know what you're buying. Yeah. Did you buy that today? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. yeah. You don't, is the same guy you usually buy it from? What's his name? They're not all honest. No, 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 I mean, I mean. Uh, once or twice. Yeah, but whoever you buy it from. If you, if you continuously buy it from them, you know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people put in it. No, I, I understand. You know, they may have made that. And, you know, when I was a kid, my dad used to, um, he was a fireman, and he, 
I remember watching this video once, and he was telling us about drugs, and it was scared the shit out of us. So all along, growing up, I, I've never I've tried a little bit of pot, but I'm not a fan of it. It's not for me. But I've never I've been way too afraid afraid to try any hard drugs uh, for what it would do to you personally and to what it would do to your life. For this reason. That's a big frock you got, man. What's that? A fifty dollar piece? Uh, Hundred. Hundred. Yeah. So I just just got back into this thing. Gonna, this is gonna listen. I this is. Look at that. Yeah, you know this is this is a. You know we you see the typical stereotype drug addict, and this does not look like it is, but it is. It absolutely is. I mean, you look at him in the supermarket, you wouldn't suspect this guy's on crack. Situation, we're all in a tough spot, but we got to do what we got to do right by the numbers. It'll help you in the end. And actually, actually, sometimes law enforcement involvement is a good thing because if he doesn't have a prior record, he'll probably have a way to keep this off his record if he gets clean and stays clean. What I tell you? And you'll say to us a month from now, good best thing that ever happened. And yesterday, mm -hmm. all fellas, you can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid no, we no, find no. you dead. That that would that's terrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? You were down in the car. No, I mean, I've been putting something. I had a case once. Um, my client was alleged to have sold some heroin to um, two people, and one of them was the daughter for the mayor of a popular city of here, here in Minnesota. They're in front of a Burger King. And she dies right there in front of a Burger King from doing heroin. You know, you don't know what you're going to get, but you just stop breathing. And that's what happened to her. You just, you, you, you gotta get on a program right away. No, yeah, I mean, I look at you, yeah. you're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust me. And I, listen, your health and your well-being is worth way more than any political career. I Riley then expresses his concern about the media finding out about his arrest. Gee, I hope the media doesn't find out about this. And see, you, you hear the concern that the, that the cop has for, for this guy? That's that's where this battle is is really won, is with compassion. This guy's worried about the cameras. He's worried about the media. Really, listen to the cop and listen to the cop how he says, you know, people thank us all the time because law enforcement intervention in this probably saved his life because if he's out and and if that shit's got fentanyl in it, he he could he could quit breathing right then and there, and all of a sudden it only takes minutes. It only takes minutes to stop breathing before your brain dies from lack of oxygen, and then you're done. Well, we, we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So and then our arrest record is our public record. I'm not going to lie to you. But, and that's the other thing. He's talking about kids. If you're in a divorce situation and you're doing drugs, guess what? You're going to have supervised visitation if you, if you get visitation. There's not much we can do on this. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying, you know? oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. In terms of media for the kids, it's as much as Yeah, no, required. listen, we are only required to release what we release, and we won't, we have to release an arrest record by law, you know. All right, jump in before you... I just want to make sure we're going to monitor you because you've taken some fentanyl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've taken some fentanyl, Matt, and that's, that's, you know, we better make sure you're, you, you don't, may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, you, no, I've never done that. You feel terrible about that, you know? All for what? For not much. I mean, you're not going to be there all day. You'll be in and out. I'm going to keep your wallet with me. I have your phone already. Do you okay. want me to throw this stuff in the car real quick? Sure. All right. Just step on in here. I'll buck you up. Oh, wait. Okay, who's going to come side. get that car out? Oh, this is a full cage. What's that? Get in here. Who, who's going to come get this car out? Huh?
It's not even his car and he's got crack all over it. I mean, there's, there's all shit on the seat. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't joking. I have an appointment on I 17. All right. I'll crack a window for you in a second. Matthew Riley faces a drug possession charge. He's resigned from his position as chairman of Cranston's Republican Party and he's in rehab. That is a good example of how just a, an average normal citizen who on the surface might look like he's got everything all together gets wrapped up in drug addiction. And drug addiction is no flipping joke. I've seen it more than I can even talk about. So if you yourself are having any troubles with addiction, get some help it's, and get it now. Get it now before your health or your life is totally fucked up. So this has been our reaction to the uh, councilman arrested for allegedly smoking crack in a parking lot. I don't suggest you do that. I suggest you stay clean. And we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers with our content genius, Michael Rivers. We'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Patreon, follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter. See you next time here at Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god?